Okay. I want you to read about shock in the book. Shock, when we say somebody has gone into shock, all it really means is there's not enough blood in the vessels. Blood vessels are inadequately filled and blood cannot circulate normally. So therefore, your blood flow can't meet your tissue needs. But this is because your blood vessels are not full. Now notice, it could be because you lost blood. It could be because your blood vessels dilated. And there are lots of conditions that do this. And when you're in nursing school, if that's the program you go to, or if you go to PA school, man, you're going to talk about all different kinds, and they give them different names in different places as well. So I'm just introducing this concept. I want you to understand that, that you will go much deeper later on, and this is very important in medicine. Hypovolemic means low volume. That's from blood loss. Trauma causes you to bleed. You can go into hypovolemic shock. You see that when people have car accidents. Vascular shock from extreme vasodilation. Cardiogenic shock when the heart's not strong enough as a pump to pump out into the vessels. And we talked about some other stuff related to that before. So then there's, uh, they give you some pictures to try to help you visualize that. And we already know about uh, systemic and pulmonary circulations, don't we? Cardiogenic. Cardiogenic. All right. So I'll leave you with that. We have now finished 19. The rest of 19 was just lab. Next time, we will start 20.1.